Hello, it's Jason Pamp, Cool Banker Dean, our brochures. Well, it's been about two and a half years since I did a motorcycle tour of the master plan community of Esperanza in Bernie, Texas. Let me tell you, a lot has changed those two and a half years, so I felt it's a great time to do another tour. So yeah, let's go for a ride. A real tour ride. All right, to get your bearings straight, we are now at the front part of this beautiful community. Uh, this is Highway 46, which you see in front of us. Uh, downtown Bernie is literally just a five minute drive down this way. And if you go to the left, uh, that starts heading up to Baverde, Cordillera Ranch, and everything else. But we're not here for that. We're here to check out this community. So let's go do that now. All right. I absolutely love the entrance of this community. Uh, the rock work that they've done here is absolutely beautiful. That's why I did my intro there. The oak trees in here are just beautiful. I mean, the landscaping that the developer did is really, really nice. One of those things that have changed in the last two and a half years is the model homes. They used to be all right here. Right now, the only one left there is Coventry. Everyone else has moved much further back in this community. So once again, that's why I'm doing a video to kind of keep you up to date what's going on in these communities. Uh, Esperanza is gonna continue to grow and expand over the years. Uh, this, but they're still going to keep a lot of green spaces. This is going to still stay green. Uh, so is this space here. So they're going to keep a lot of these oak trees and stuff going on. What you're seeing now is a small one acre section. It was all done by one builder. And uh, yeah, that's going to stay like that. But you can see there's lots of little parks and stuff in here. Um, one of those things I need to knock out for informational purposes is property tax rate. They are at 2.52 right now, uh, and that's a little higher. A lot of places around 2.2, but Esperanza does have a nice uh, water retention system. Let me let these people get on by me. Uh, they're literally going to have two water uh, access points in front of every house. One is going to be for your drinking water and everything you to use in your house but the other one is just for your sprinkler system so that's one of those added things that adds a little cost to the house the if you're looking to build out here but uh it's my it's not as dramatic as uh if you're living in like bear county where their property tax rates are damn near close to three percent but uh this community does have a lot of little mini communities put in it uh, some of them are going to be a little bit smaller homes, but once these are all completed, the new construction parts done, they do have gates on them. And, uh, oh, I just sold a house, finished, had a deal up in this little community here too. So you have lots of little communities. There's a little water tower there. It's kind of cool. But one of the main things about this community that I like so much, besides the amazing school districts, uh, and never take a real estate agent's word for things, Look them up yourself. Uh, Bernie ISD is definitely one of the tops in the state. Uh, this community here, I think they got a lot of little garden homes in it. Um, they've already all sold out, so when they do come on the market, they're considered secondary market. When I say garden homes, it means they're uh, all the landscaping is taking care of you, but for you, but they're really small, small lots. And uh, they do have a little bit higher HOA fee for someone else. I wouldn't say a little. I think it's like three to four hundred dollars a month for the community to come in and take care of all your lawns, turn up your flowers, and do everything for you in there. But another nice section back here. And these are going to be a little bit bigger homes. But everywhere, all over the place, you'll see these neat little rock things set up. But uh, one of the things I like about this community is it has its own elementary school in it, uh, Herf Elementary School. And that's what you're seeing off to my left right now. As I'm filming this, it is mid-January 2024. Can't believe time's flying by. Uh, around 2.15, so school is in session right now. So that's kind of nice to be able to see that. I'm going to take you up here to this the amenities park which i really like a lot um i wouldn't say their amenities are as nice as vintage oaks but man they're close comparison they got this cool park here set up 
Well, they do have sometimes concerts. They have like Esperanza Day, which was really cool. They had food trucks all lined up here, uh, face painting, a lot of a lot of neat little activities going on. What you see here is the gym. They're going to have some free weights, ellipt elliptical. <coughs> Pardon me, I've been needing to cough for a little while. But a gorgeous pool. They also have a lazy river. And up here is where I'm going to say, if you haven't seen my amenities tour of this place, you've got to check it out. My daughter helped me out with it. But things are constantly growing and expanding here. That little bear thing, that's brand new. And you can see they're doing something else back down below. So I'm excited to see what's coming with that. But yeah, check out the amenities tour. It's uh, it's hard to find a nicer amenities. I do rank Vintage Oaks a little bit nicer, but from Bernie, that's quite a ways from here uh, in New Braunfels. But if you're wanting to be in Bernie, you're not going to be able to beat the amenities of uh, Esperanza. We are pretty good high elevation. You can see we are in the Texas Hill Country. Oh, this something else that's new is their dog park. This is super cool. Uh, I did mention this in the amenities tour as well, but it kind of kind of split up but between I guess dog sizes and stuff But as you can see there's lots and lots of things to do in there You do see people walking around in this neighborhood quite a bit But that's a how many communities have a uh, rover oaks they called it and it's like yeah, that is so super cool All right back here uh, just past the dog park uh, then start looking for your left this is where the new model homes are. We're going to showcase those in a second because I want to showcase Toll Brothers. They have their own 55 and up community here. They're going to build an amazing uh, Toll Brothers only rec center here. That's what's in the process right now. Um, these homes are not the biggest homes. They're not designed to be, but they are designed to be super fancy and uh yeah they put a lot they can put a lot of bells and whistles into these 55 and up homes uh talk to their sales rep there they are going to be having a lot of events just for this little toll brothers regency 55 and up community these are the different models you can tour that we're riding by right now so yeah lots and lots of uh <clears throat> Pardon me, I've been sick for like a month, so I'm finally getting my voice back. So if I sound a little scratchy, I apologize, but I need to get back to work. Well, yeah, this is a really nice community, a uh, little sub-community in Vintage Oaks. Not Vintage Oaks. We're in Esperanza today. <clears throat> um, but yeah, if you're looking for a 55 and up uh, community, definitely check out this. Toll Brothers, they are a national builder, and a lot of times I'm not a big fan of national builders like DR Horton, KB, and the L Word. I'm not a big fan of them, but I, I shouldn't say things like that. But I like local builders. I like builders that build, that are from Texas, and uh, they're not trying to build things as fast as possible. Um, but yeah, Toll Brothers, they have a great reputation. And uh, yeah, you can tell they've got a lot of room to expand. So yeah. They're going to be building out of here for a little while. Let's head back up to the other builders. It's where you don't have to be 55 and up. And I can't believe I almost qualify for being in this community. I'm now 52. All right. Let's see. Let's head on back out to the main entrance. Because these are all the Toll Brothers homes here. But yeah, a lot of these houses, I mean, uh, just driving around this community, it, it's hard to say, but yeah, just some really great views of the Texas Hill Country. All right, we're leaving the 55 and up community, and we're heading, and we're going to do a little drive-by of the model homes. I have sold uh, a few homes. Oh, crap, dude. No, I guess he didn't have a stop sign. All right, cool. All right. 
yeah doing these videos and writing it's not recommended all right we got Monticello I absolutely love them uh, let me talk about what's going on a little bit further up there uh, Monticello and Highland they're gonna be building on the little larger lot sections that's coming soon uh, Highland we got Scott Felder we got Chesmar, uh, absolutely love Chesmar, love Perry, Monticello. Talk to Larry in there, he's a great guy. Definitely get his opinions of stuff. Larry's been doing this for a long time and builds amazing homes. This section here is gonna be primary Perry homes um, on 50 or 55 foot lots. Not the widest lots, that's why you're gonna see a lot of two story homes in this section. So they can still get the square footage, but they had to go up. Uh, that's why I'm super excited about the uh, new section uh, for my clients that are waiting to find out more information about the new section. We were hoping to have information the, like 75, 80 foot lot section in November and then January. And now they are talking about, they are getting to work on it um, and hopefully start building in March. So yes, uh, I'll be reaching out to you and uh, giving you that update because they wanted a larger lot. They really like Perry, but Monticello's definitely should be in consideration. All these homes here are built by Chessmar. And like I said, they're one of my favorite builders as well. But yeah, this is a great spot because you are gonna have a, a road behind you, but it's not a high trafficated road, if that's a word. But yeah, Chessmar is definitely one of my favorite builders as well. They do really good work and uh, their sales reps are awesome. Their build standards are awesome. And whenever they have an inspection, they come out very, very clean. But so does Perry and Monticello. And there goes one of my clients. Hey, oh, he didn't look up to recognize me. It's hard to recognize me with my, uh, he, he, he used me to buy a house here and he bought a Chessmar house. But, uh, yeah, they've been pretty happy, but yeah, he didn't recognize me on my motorcycle. But yeah, I also sold one of these houses up here too. I had two Chessmar houses sold in just, uh, the same, like, month. All right, here, Monticello and Highland are building here. These are going to be a little bit wider lots in this section. And yeah, back here, back beyond this is where those larger lot sections are coming. Like I said, March, this is another house one of my clients is getting built. I did just do a video tour of that for them. It's being built by Highland. It is a 216 plan. So that's, uh, I like to do a new construction follow-up videos just because it's kind of cool seeing the house in that shape. Uh, cause it's not gonna be like that ever again. It's nice to show those off to your friends and family. But there's quite a few spec homes available. I just talked to Larry with Monticello. He's like, some of these houses, they've had some significant price cuts on them because builders do not like to have completed homes sitting on their books. And I know Scott Felder has a bunch of inventory homes available. So, when we're in that situation, realtors, uh, we really have some negotiation room for them because the builders, like I said, they need to recapture that money that's in the house so they can start another project. So they're, they're willing to negotiate now. It's not like it was back in the frenzy or it was what it was and the clients had to just pay the full price for it. But now you can negotiate. So when you see these spec homes, uh, everybody wants to build from dirt until they see what the base price is and then how much you spend at the amenity center uh that could be forty thousand dollars more but builders market has slowed down quite a bit and builders are wanting to move these products these homes and a lot of them have like thirty thousand dollars where you can cut the price or buy down rates so there's lots of wheeling and dealing that can be done especially on a completed home All right, 
we're gonna go back down the road that I call like the Chesmar Road here because but yeah these are Monticello and Highland homes then we come around the corner and these are the Chesmar homes but you can tell there's still some space to grow on and I'm gonna take you off into the newer sections now we're showing off there's still lots and lots of room to keep building out here so if your plans aren't to build immediately, uh, you don't have to rush. Uh, this community is going to be expanding and growing for quite a while. And if you're still with me, uh, I know these motorcycle ride tours, well, they don't get a lot of views like the fancy model homes do, but I'm not really concerned about getting views. My concern is about providing you a lot of great information and uh, in my opinion and it's some great information to have to be able to see a community from uh, the back top of a motorcycle versus just uh, um, looking at pictures online of the front of the house so that's why I do these because uh, I have a philosophy of always try to give all the information you can give and I, I see value in this <clears throat> because if I'm moving from somewhere I've never moving to somewhere I've never been to before I'd want my realtor to be able to provide all this information out there all right back to the model homes and I tell people it's like when I was researching to buy my motorcycle hell I'd watch a 15 20 minute video all day long just because I it's a big purchase it's scary I want all the information so I will watch these long videos that can be kind of dry because I admit sometimes I ramble on a little bit. But I want to take you off to the newer sections here. These are the back sides of those chest bar homes. They got a beautiful raw wall. And this isn't gonna this kind of the back part of the community, those the Toll Brothers community. So you're not gonna have a lot of traffic on here all the time. So they're still gonna be relatively quiet compared to like the front part of the community. And there's the rest of the Toll Brothers sections. Let me stand up so you can see it a little bit better. But yeah, I really like it out here. The amenities, the people, <clears throat> the different events, school districts. I mean, there's a lot going on here in Bernie, Texas. All right, here's where, like I said, the road up top there that's going to be going to the new Perry Monticello larger lot sections um, be expected those prices to be in the 800s to and into the 900 range getting back up in here uh, Perry does have another 50 foot lot section that they are working on I believe it's kind of right back here but uh, way this community is going to work is you're going to have that what you saw what we just rode through and then this road's gonna go back on the back part of it and uh, okay yeah here's the Perry 55 50 foot community that they've been going so if you're looking for a smaller Perry house or if you don't mind a two-story Perry house they've got a lot to go on a lot uh, available there they are they got the roads in signs available and yeah Perry if you've been watching my channel before you know I like them a lot and we got more stuff coming that way but eventually <clears throat> this road's gonna continue on and we're gonna go back down toward 46 where we started at so uh, there, and there could be a nice little green space gap kind of in the middle so people aren't going to be stacked right on top of each other but you can tell the future growth is coming so that's super cool knowing that uh, you don't have to rush into buying in this community it's not going to sell out anytime real soon but man look at the views out here it's just really nice and having downtown Bernie uh, just literally five minutes from this community, it's a really nice ability to do that. And if you got people that are into like farming, I mean, uh, ag stuff, FHA, 
Bernie ISD road, has a lot. road going down. Okay. FHA stuff and uh, a lot of a lot of neat activities. I know uh, during Christmas time they have Dickens on Main, which I've done a video tour of that. Um, it's super cool to be able to come down. Me and my wife we come down here. It's, even it's an hour drive. Came down here for that. All right, let me go and head on back to the uh, entrance of this community, and then we'll wrap it on up. And I want to go and give a shout out if you're still listening to uh, me ramble on about this community. Uh, I have, I do sometimes get stopped on the streets, and people say they watch my videos. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, so don't ever hesitate if you see me in the area, say hi. I do like that. My wife gives me crap about it because it does makes me feel good it's like yeah you're just stroking in his ego but I don't, I don't really have that much of an ego yeah, maybe a little bit but I definitely appreciate uh, anytime I get recognized so don't hesitate to say hi I'm just I'm just a realtor with a camera and uh, things have definitely slowed down a little bit with these crazy ass interest rates so um, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, my contact information will, of course, be in the description box and uh, on the final slide as well. But yeah, I'm not as the frenzy that we had during the COVID years has definitely died down because interest rates have really slowed a lot of buyers off uh, the buying table, and we kind of needed that. It, prices are slowly going down. Uh, but they're not going down as fast as I thought they might be. But we'll have to see. I do think that if interest rates do get down into the uh, high fives, the floodgates will open back up again. There's the elementary school. And once those floodgates open, uh, oh, uh, the volleyball courts. They've got two different volleyball courts there at the amenity center. One of them is strictly for kids. So they got the, like the lower net thing. So I, I, thought, I always thought that was kind of cool that they did that. But yeah, um, since the new year started, things have started to pick up a little bit. Some of these spec homes that I thought would be perfect for one of my buyers that's coming in from overseas uh, well, people recognizing the value and they're buying them. Oh, nice Harley there. But all right, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. We've been going long enough. I absolutely love this community, the amenities, the things to do in the area, easy access to Bernie. When people reach out to me, it's always kind of trying to decide what community either New Bern New Braunfels or Bernie, those are the two uh, really nicer ones with lots of things to do and everything's right at your fingertips. So don't hesitate to reach out to me for either one of those communities. And if you're coming to town, uh, scouting the area out, please call me. That's one of the things I love to do. I love this area. I love showing it off. It doesn't cost you anything to have me kind of guide you around. And if you've watched my videos long enough, you know. I'll just say whatever. I'm not in this to really uh, appease any builders. I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like. Those are both my opinions, but I want you to have the information to form your own opinion. So that's why I tried to give you all the information. So yeah, if you're looking to scout out the area to see if this is the direction you want to take your life, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to spend the day with you or two days uh, kind of showing off these uh, different communities. And like I said, free of charge. Doesn't cost you nothing. All right, we're coming up to the front part of the community again, so I'll go ahead and wrap this up now. If you do like these videos, of course, hit the like button and definitely want to subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, if you know somebody looking to move to this beautiful Texas Hill Country area, please, please, please share these videos with them. Share my YouTube channel because uh, I think over the last four years I've been doing these videos, provide a lot of information. Now remember the prices definitely have changed since the last four years when I started doing this. So don't be too sticker shocked. 
all right that's gonna do it for today and uh, appreciate it if you're still with me all right take care now bye bye